Hello guys and welcome to this series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to talk about the concepts of same site cookie attributes. So let's begin. Now if you have noticed whatever we have discussed so far it was referenced with the same site context. Same site context means that the site of the URL which we are visiting is same as the site of the request that we are making. For example, let's say you are in a browser and you have opened up a page that is mainpage.com and within your page another request is going for let's say a particular image and it is asking for the abc.jpg. In this case, site of the URL and the site of the request is same that is mainpage.com. So these type of requests are known as the first party request or also the same site request and generally when we try to define any particular rules for any of the functionality for the same site request the context is taken as the same site context this is for the same site request in contrast to it we also have the cross site context in which the site of the request and the site of the url which we are visiting are not same for example let's say you are visiting any particular website again let's say it's a mainpage.com but within your page, there is another request that is being made to other site.com for any particular resource, let's say image or JavaScript, or it could be any API calls as well. So when the site of the URL, which we are visiting and the site of the request that is being made are different, these type of requests are known as the third party request or the cross site request. And generally the context or whatever we study with reference to these type of requests are known as the cross site context. So during this case, how the browser will determine that what cookie it needs to attach and what cookie it does not need to attach. This is where the concept of the same site cookie attributes come into picture. For an example, let's say first we visited other site.com and when you visited that page, some cookies got stored into your browser. Now you also visited some other website, let's say mainpage.com. And within mainpage.com, there is a request that is being made to the other site.com. Now, during the request for other site.com made from the mainpage.com, how will browser will determine what cookies of the other site.com does it need to attach and what cookie it, it is not allowed to attach. So these sort of rules when we are discussing about the cross site context are defined by the same site cookie attribute. Another example, let's say you have never visited the other site.com. You only visited mainpage.com and within the mainpage.com, there is first request that is being made to the other site.com, which is setting some cookies that we also studied in the previous video. And when those cookies are stored into the browser, then in the second request, how is browser deciding whether it needs to attach those cookies or not? Of course, it is going to consider the path, domain and other cookie attributes. But on top of that, now it will also consider the same site cookie attribute because now it is a cross site context. Another thing when I say about the same site cookie attribute, don't get it confused with the same site request. Same site request means the site of the URL which we are visiting and the site of the request which is being made are same. But same site cookie attribute is completely a different topic which defines whether a cookie should be attached to a cross site request or not. Okay, so don't get confused into these two. These are completely different terminologies. Now let's start discussing about the same site cookie attributes, which can have three values that is strict, lax and none. And to understand it better, we should consider the three case scenarios for all of these type of values. So let's first understand the cases. And then all those three cases we are going to apply in all three values of the same site cookie attribute. Case number one is when the request is same site. For example, let's say you are visiting one page that is mainpage.com and within the page there is another request that is being made for mainpage.com. So basically site of the URL and site of the request is same. This will be our case number one and we will be referencing it into the future as same site request again first party request we can also say the second case scenario is that there is a page redirection from your main page to the other site for example let's say there is a page whose domain is mainpage.com and within that there is a link 
or we can say a link within the a tag in which if you click there will be a redirection to that particular page okay so if other site.com is written into that link and your browser will be redirected to the other site.com and the method which will be used during the redirection is get this is our case too and we will reference it as page redirection with get http method and lastly the third case is basically every other case scenarios for example let's say you are visiting the mainpage.com and within that page there is a call that is being happening for the javascript to the other site.com please note here we are not clicking the link the page content of the other site is coming to your mainpage.com okay similarly let's say there is a reference for the link from other site.com as well and it is written as image src equals to uh, other site.com and image path right other case scenario let's say there is a page redirection but this time the other http method like post or something else is being used so this will also fall under the case scenario number three and in general we will say it like resource reference to the other site or all other remaining cases now let's try to understand how these three case scenarios is going to fit under three values of the same site cookie attribute now before i start explaining you need to understand that when i'm talking about for example strict there are already some cookies existing in the browser and with those various value we will be seeing whether in a particular request that particular cookie will be attached or not so let's say the first cookie is having the mark as strict then only in the same site request those cookies will be attached in other cases it will not be attached so let's say the name of the cookie is name equals to vikram and same site is set as the strict so in this particular case let's say you are visiting the mainpage.com and within mainpage.com there is a reference to the mainpage.com only then in that particular case the cookie name will be eligible to be attached why i am saying eligible because the other parameters of cookies like the http only or the domain or path those will also be considered but on top of that at least from the same site cookie attribute perspective it has been marked as allowed now let's say there is another domain that is other site.com and within that page there is a link on which if you click you will get redirect to the main page.com with the get http method request okay so will that cookie name will be attached to the request no the answer is no why because when it is strict then it will only be attached when the same site request is being made okay another example let's say again you are on the other site.com and there is a resource calling something from the main page.com let's say it is saying main page.com slash cat dot jpg it is asking for the image so will that cookie will be eligible to be attached to the request no why because the value is strict and only during the same site request that cookie is eligible to be attached to a request okay this is the first thing that is when the same site cookie attribute has been set with the value of strict now let's take the second value that is lex in this particular case the cookie will be eligible to be attached to a request in the same site request and also if there is a page redirection with the get method okay so for example let's say again you have a cookie in your browser which has the value as name equals to vikram and same site cookie attribute is set with the lex okay in this particular case let's say you are visiting the mainpage.com and there is a reference to the mainpage.com only and the site of the url and the site of the request is same basically same site request and you are asking for a image so in this particular case it is the same site request and even though it is lax it will be eligible to be attached in the second case scenario let's say you are visiting the other site.com and within that there is a link in which if you click you will get redirect to the mainpage.com with the get method so in this particular case also the cookie will get eligible to be attached to the request that is the meaning of lex but if there is a reference to the resource of the mainpage.com for example let's say there is written in other site.com 
for image mainpage.com image and cat.jpg in this particular case the cookie that is the name is not eligible to be attached to the request okay so when the value is lacks then only in the same site request and only when there is a page redirection with the get method the cookie will be attached to the request or at least will be eligible for the attachment now the final value is the none so in the same site cookie attribute it has been mentioned name equals to vikram and same site equals to none what will happen during this case it states that the cookie will be attached in the same site request also when there is a page redirection with get method and for any other case scenarios so always the cookie will get eligible to be attached to the request for example let's say you are in the mainpage.com and you are making a request to the mainpage.com basically it is the same site request the site of your url and the site of the request is same so cookie will be eligible now let's see the second case you are in the other site.com and there is a link on which if you click you will get redirect to the mainpage.com so in this particular case also the cookie name will be eligible to be sent to the request okay during the redirection and in the third case scenario if there is a resource calling from other site.com to mainpage.com note that we are making a request for a resource here for example javascript file or image okay so in this particular case the cookie will be eligible to be sent to the request one final point you need to remember what will happen if no values of the same site cookie attribute is set in these particular cases it is up to the browser how it wants to tick some browser may take value as none some may take as lacks but generally in most of the browser the default value is taken as the lacks but it can vary from browser to browser and also in this particular video we discussed on the concepts in the next video we will see live in our laptop how actually we can visualize it as well okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video